How to make the time glitch transition. Today's video is sponsored by the Pirates King. Cut the last 20 frames of your first clip, and the first 40 of your second clip. Select both of the cuts, make them a new fusion clip, and open the fusion page. Add a time machine node. For this you need to install the reactor plugin and activate the time machine tool. Change the mode to switch. Activate the force target range. Set the target start frame, to the frame where your second clip starts. If you made it like me, it will be the frame 20. For the target end frame, set it to 40 so that you'll have 20 frames of clean footage, before it starts to switch again. Increase or decrease the end frame, depending on how long you want to have the clean part. Change the before time to random. Same goes for the after time. Set it to random again, and you are ready. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, we are going to meet in the red line.